What is Aina? Aina is a sound one word. I mean family. Hi. My name's Sandy Morris. I wanted to talk about a little bit about how Ainga was started. So I put a proposal to management about setting up a year 11 to 13 form class, which we did, and we named it Ainga, which means family and someone. You know, it started off as a place where the kids could come and relax. We wrote our own, own prayer, our own motu. So, you know, we prayed, we cried, we argued, we got a few telling offs, we laughed. But mainly, it was just support. You just afeed around. And it, as it grew and morphed, we could became more of an academic focus as well. I hope that now, 10, 12 years on, they see their place to be, see their connections, and and they go, yeah, that, this is my this is my uppy. You guys, Charlie here. What does Anga mean to me? Anga. Was my family. Ainga was a safe place for me. With my home away from home, you know, Ainga always supported me in whatever I chose to do. They always cared for me, loved me, and more importantly, they provided me the necessary tools to succeed not only in school but also in life. And I'm forever grateful to the staff to the students, to the teachers that made Ainga grouse. And uh, I love every single one of you. God bless you later. What Ainga meant to me as a student simply meant that I had a family. A family not only within the school gates, but outside of them. A family not only within the Ainga classroom, but out in the playground too. It meant that I had a space to go to when I felt it will work. I learned a lot about myself and my culture and being I know really did enhance and develop that. Malalele, my name is Leona, everyone calls me Leo, and I'm from the class of 2020. I know it's my way of finding faces that are exactly like mine. It's really welcoming to enter a room knowing that people go through the same struggles as you, just with that cultural barrier. And there are things that I learned in Ainga that I wouldn't have learned if I went in mainstream and I'm so grateful and I'm honoured to be a class of Ainga, honestly, because the vibes are immaculate. There's something very encouraging about knowing that you're not the minority in a room full of people that are just like you. What's up guys, it's Masi here. Um, yeah, so being a part of Ainga meant a lot to me. It meant a lot to a lot of students. Being able to come to school knowing that we were surrounded by other PR students, brothers, sisters that we could depend on. Um, also being a part of Ainga, it was a place where we could go to get help from teachers who knew what it's like walking in our shoes, what it's like to be PR students and the struggles that we go through every day. Yeah, so I'll forever be grateful for being a part of Ainga because it's helped me become who I am today and the teachers in Ainga have taught me to always strive for greatness as a PR. So yeah, um, Hope you have a good day, stay blessed. Bye -bye. My name is Nathan Shaki. I think I'll put an eye on because I'm naughty. <laughs> oh, it's been good. I'm um, being a four with my friends and stuff. My name is Melina Bersikopi. What does being an Ainga mean to you? Um, sharing my culture and knowing about other cultures. And a saving to everybody. Um, what does being an Ainga mean to you? Makes me feel good. Jamie Miyoko and Martin. Uh, what does Ainga mean to you? Family away from home, and it's where I could be myself, learning different cultures. What's your name? Ma. What does it mean for you uh, to be in this class, Ainga? Oh, well, just peace. Okay. Uh, hey, you know me, somebody.